Yeah, just people lambasting the band all the time. Lord Provost of Glasgow deemed us uh, irresponsible and and deeply offensive. And yeah, it was, we were like the go-to band to just to throw shit at, which was quite cool actually. Then it just got a little bit annoying after a while. Um, for example, and we all got arrested at the Vatican, and everybody goes, well that's so stupid, why'd you go to the Vatican with all these silly t-shirts? And You know, we were looking around Rome for some, you know, gothic pile to be photographed in front, and we just stopped St Peter's Square, everybody went out, it was empty, we thought, right, we'll just take a picture against the fountain, then all of a sudden, surrounded by armed guns with, with some machine guns. Another reason, you know, like, the, it's like Halloween, let's, let's get crazy, let's do something. The birds and Tippy Hendren. Psycho. What was it? What, Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Because it's nobody's really heard about that film. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the music as well, isn't it? For yeah, it's me, it's It's amazing. It's perfect. And we tried to incorporate one of those kind of sounds at the end of the song as well. Yeah. The birds, well, it's just a great film. It's just a, the whole premise about it is ridiculous. Um, but it is, it's just so good and riveting and, and well done. And Tippi Hendren's just gorgeous. With my best love and next love and we're more of beauty I've suffered with Well, I mean, I think everybody's been double-crossed, certainly when you're a teenager and you're at school. And I went to an all-girls school, and so obviously there's lots of dramas going on. I mean, I can't really think of a specific example of being double-crossed. Oh, maybe my, my well... My sister got me in trouble for having a tattoo uh, when I was about 18 with my parents. Have you still got it? Yes. <laughs> well, yes, I have, yeah. Um, and it was, uh, I think I'd done something to piss her off because she'd come back late from a party. And uh, I told my dad, and so she turned around and went, well, Lauren's got a tattoo, so I suppose that kind of works the other way around. So You know what, I'm not a massive Stephen King fan, I just really like the title. I remember uh, the book came out, I don't know, about eight, eight, nine years ago. I just remember that awesome title, it just sort of fit the song perfectly. And the fact that I thought, well, yeah, it's a nice nod towards another author, seen as the great and secret show, uh, obviously, was linked to, to Clive Barker. Um, it's always but, a bit fantastical, isn't it? And I think Devilman's got that kind of slightly fantastical edge to it sometimes with some of the songs we do. Actually, it's saying that I read Doctor Sleep uh, this year, in fact, which is the second part of The Shining. It's really good, riveting. Yeah, I love the Green Mile, the movie, but I mean, to be honest, for me, the, book, the, <laughs> the book had me in tears uh, probably about 30 pages before it even finished, so I was just sat there like turning each page like, oh, like very emotional. And um, yeah, I mean, I think Carrie, any, any really Stephen King books tend to make amazing movies because there's so much Misery. imagination. Misery, yeah. Um, yeah, there's so much imagination. There's so many different ways that you can kind of um, visualize it and he's very descriptive. I just think he's a, a classic author to be creating fantastic movies out and song titles. Don't cross our hunting ground.